Hello guys, welcome back to System Test 2 of the Zyton ZP2 file arm system. Uh, I do apologise for not posting much videos in a while. Uh, I've just been, been been a bit busy and haven't had much time to uh, put out videos, but I'm now back and I'm going to hopefully start posting some more videos. So, yeah. Um, some changes that have happened, um, some minor changes on the panel. Uh, I've set the date and time to the current time I'm recording this video and the date. Um, I haven't um, set the put all these into correct zones and uh, stuff like that because uh, I'm going to be getting some new, uh, probably a new device soon. Uh, probably going to get a heat detector and then once I get that I'll um, sort sort the zones and stuff stuff out. Uh, also, I'm still having problems with this sounder. Um, I still cannot figure out uh, why the beacon's not flashing? Uh, the bass sound a bit works, but it's just the beacon on on this is not working. So uh, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out, um, and I'm not sure if I'll replace this with a heat detector when it comes, uh, or if I'll try and keep playing around with it. But uh, in system test three, I'll either keep this or change it out for heat detector. Um, also got one fault still, which is battery. I'm not sure if I'll get a battery at some point or just leave it like uh, leave it battery fault because uh, it's only just a demo system and it doesn't get turned on uh, very much so yeah that's uh, very minor changes uh, I'm going to be testing the f uh, four heat detect uh, four smoke detectors today uh, I'm not going to test the ionization detector which is going to be testing uh, these detectors here so yeah we'll go ahead and do that so to start with I'm going to go ahead and do a lamp test so uh, I'm going to press the bottom corner button which is support on F3 uh, and then, as you can see, uh, this is the lamp test, so I'm going to press it, so there we go. There we go, all the zone lights are lit up. And then we'll go ahead and press exit to stop that. There we go, so that's how to do lamp tests, uh, quick and easy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the uh, inside of the panel, because I know I didn't do that in the last test. So I'm going to go ahead and, so we need these set of keys here, I've got it on my keychain. So we go ahead and put the keys through. There we go. So now we can open this up. There we go. And as you can see, that's where the uh, LED, the LCD screen is, the LED screen there. There you go. And there's some. There's the board there. Uh, the ribbon cable, so there you go, and then inside we have uh, sound circuits, uh, loop cables, uh, input outputs, stuff like that, and this is where the battery, co battery connectors are would be, uh, so there we go, and yeah that's basically it, so, so uh, yeah that's and that, and that can, uh, joins the panel lid together. So there's the internal buzzer. And yeah, uh, I'm not sure where the programming cable is. I haven't had a really good look at this, but yeah, uh, there's a USB port. So yeah, that's basically uh, the inside of the Zyton ZP2 one loop panel. So, and there's, uh, you can get, uh, if I had a two loop one, that would have a terminal slot there, but uh, I've only got one loop. So yeah, I think that's where the programming is and that, so yeah. So there we go, so now we can go ahead and close it up. And yeah. There we go. So if it should be tied up. There we go. So yeah, we'll go ahead and start testing the detectors. So yeah, we'll go ahead and start with uh, this one, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the smoke spray and then we can start testing the detectors, so yeah, here we go, so let's test this one to start with, I'm not sure, it's hard to tell when, uh, which, what's gone off and that, so I can't tell if like, any of these other ones have gone off as well, because the LED doesn't stay on, but I think it pulls like really fast or something, so I'll try not to spray the other detectors, so I'll probably uh, do it in this direction or something, so yeah, here we go. Three, two, one, here we go. There we go, see if that goes off. There we go.
there we go so that finally that, that went off quite quickly and I tried to enter the uh, code and that because it lock um, I was signed out of the install a bit so yeah uh, let's go ahead and just um, blow into that there we go, put that back on as you can see uh, in zone 1 let's reset that and we'll go ahead and test the other detectors so let's test this one It just went out. It just the sounders, both the sounders went out of sync for a second there. That was kind of, kind of weird there. Went out of sync a little bit. So let's go ahead and uh, blow into this. So I think I might leave the sensitivity as it is because it seems to be going off quite quickly. So because I haven't really done anything to the sensitivity. So yeah, let's reset that. And we'll go ahead and test uh, these two detectors here. So we'll test uh, this one. There we go. Okay. Spray into that. There we go. Let's reset that. And then we'll test the last detector. Test this one. There we go. Yeah, I do really like the good good tone holds on the Zyton sound. It sounds really nice. So we're going to um, bow into this. There we go. Put that back up. A bit stiff to do. There we go. And we'll give it a reset. Hopefully nothing should re-trigger again. And yeah. That'll be it for the for system test too. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment the videos. This would really help. And yeah, um, hopefully we can get the heat detector and maybe I'll put that on onto the bass sounder here or leave this on for a bit. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.